This is my unboxing and initial setup video of the Let Pot Hydroponic Growing System. And thank you to the Let Pot Company for sending me this smart garden device for free to test out and give my honest review on. I have also put the link to the Let Pot website and the link to the product on Amazon in the description box below. So the main part of this, of course, is the system here where you can grow all sorts of fruit, vegetables, herbs. So the nutrients are provided with this. So this is what you will be mixing up to add to your water for your growing. There's some information here on how to connect to Wi-Fi, which is kind of a cool feature. You can connect to the LetPod app and run your system through your phone. So it has a little pop up here when you fill the water this will rise up and you can keep kind of track of how much water is in there and when it gets down here you know that it's low and you need to add more water this is where you'll be adding the nutrient water so as you can see there are 12 pods in this system so you can grow up to 12 plants at one time depending on what you're growing it also comes with a supply of these baskets and the growing pod. This is where you'll be planting your seeds. Also comes with these dome covers to put over when you are first sprouting your seeds. Some tags are included so you can mark your plants so you know what they are. It also includes several of these sticks here. So I believe these are for support to your plants if you need once they get growing. It's very quick to get this set up and ready to plug in. You simply bring this cord in from inside that's connected to the pump. Plug it in here. Plug in your power adapter right here and then just plug this in. So you can see here the lights are adjustable depending on the size of your plants. So initially this is the lowest it will go when you are just starting seedlings and then as your plants grow you can extend it and this is what it looks like fully extended so you have a lot of growing space here for bigger plants such as tomatoes or peppers so now that we got the let pot all put together we are ready to mix up our nutrients and get the container filled with nutrient water so it comes with two parts here, part A, part B. These are the little tablets that are inside these containers. So we're just going to fill the, each of these up with tap water and shake it up and dissolve. It does recommend you use purified water, which you can do if you want. I just have always used tap water seems to work okay for me so this nutrient solution once it's mixed up has a shelf life of about five months as long as you keep it out of the Sun so you should get quite a few batches of nutrient water with these as well so it comes with uh, the water nutrient measurements that you can use based on how much water you're going to be using and then it tells you how many mils of A and B that you need to add to that water. So I like to use a four liter jug like this size. I've written on the back of it what it is just so I don't get mixed up with any of my other plant waters. So with the four liters, according to the instructions here, you wanna put 20 mils of each of these into four liters. So the lids have the measurements on here and you can use up to fill it up to a maximum of 15 mils. And as I said, we were going to be doing 20 mils of each into here. So I'll just start off by measuring out the max here, which is 15. And then another five. And 
end we're using 20 mils of part B as well. Just give that a good shake, make sure it's well mixed in. And then we're ready to pour it into our light pot. So it has a spot here where you would be adding your nutrient water that we're going to pour into right now. So it looks like it takes five liters to fill this uh, let pot system up with nutrient water. I've reached the max line here in the uh, hole there you can see and the water meter here shows five liters. So on the top here we got three buttons. We got our power and then you can either select vegetable or flower. And if you set up the app, you can connect the pump through a Wi-Fi system to your phone. So the pump is running now, as you can see, and it has a cycle of 30 minutes on and then 30 minutes off. So when you choose the veg light, it gives you a spectrum of red, blue, and white light, which is suitable for growing vegetables and the flower button gives you a spectrum of red and white light, which is supposed to be suitable for flower and fruit growth. And both of these lights run on a cycle of 16 hours on and then eight hours off. So now comes the fun part of planting the seeds. So I'm going to just set some of these pods in here now to get them absorbing some of that nutrient water. So these will absorb water and expand and fill these baskets. So I've got a bunch of seeds picked out here ready to start up in my let pot system. I've chosen a variety of leafy green lettuces, some spinach, some arugula, and I got a couple different uh, green onions here as well. So as you see here, we have 12 pods to plant in. In my opinion, that is a Way too many I think it gets a little too crowded and I don't think it's very easy to grow that many plants at one time most of my systems that I grow in I don't use all of the pods provided and one thing that uh, the let pot system didn't come with was anything to cover these holes I have had other systems that come with these little caps here that fit over top and so for any pods that you're not using you don't want the light to get in there so you need to cover up those holes with something so these little things are convenient to have but if you don't have something like that there's different things you can do a uh, golf ball makes a good hole cover sits on there nicely some black tape something like that and i have some of these little clone things that i use for my hydroponic growing as well that fit over top so as long as you keep those holes covered with some something dark to uh, prevent that light to come in so normally like I said I would not plant that many items in one of these systems for something like lettuce I would say you know six to eight pods depending on the size is probably lots even with herbs they get pretty crowded and bushy and take up a lot of space tomatoes and peppers two plants max you know if you have one on this side and one on that side it works pretty good but since we're testing this out and doing review i'm going to say let's just fill up all 12 pods with a variety of different greens and we'll see how it goes so in with the lettuces i'm going to be try some of these um, green onions and these rosa lunga de Ferenz onions which are also like a green onion but they got some red to them so these are going to be growing tall and straight so i think i'm just going to do a couple of the pods with these on the outside edges of the system here so normally what you would do with any type of seed that you're putting in here is put two or three in and see how many germinate and then thin out as needed I recommend using a toothpick or something if they kind of land here. You need to just try to make sure they get in the hole and are down deep enough inside there. So these markers come with it. Um, you only get 
five of them here, I believe. <laughs> I don't find these very useful. I find them kind of bulky. You know, you stick them in here, and it's all fine when you first start growing, but once the plants get bigger, they kind of get in the way. Um, and I just don't find them very useful. You do get six of them, I guess. But what I like to do is just get some masking tape and tape a little piece beside each pod here and then mark what I've planted there. I find that the, the best way to keep track of what's there. It's easy to, uh, to read it and it doesn't get in the way. Okay, so I have everything planted up in here now. We have 12 varieties of lettuces and onions started. As you can see, most of these are leafy green type lettuces that I've grown before using these kind of systems and also grow outdoors. So they all do well for me. I love arugula, so I like growing it all the time. The only one that I did try out here that I've never done in a indoor growing system like this is the deuce lettuce so this is the kind of lettuce that forms a head so it takes up quite a bit of space so i'm not sure how it's going to do in uh, this type of system so we're just going to test that one out and i'll let you know how that turns out so overall i'm excited to uh, see how the let pot system does i i like these kind of growing systems for growing lettuce especially indoors in the winter time i live in a climate where we only have 110 days of outdoor growing time so lots of time to grow indoors so these kind of systems are perfect for that and i think they're very simple to use and produce all sorts of great vegetables and fruits for you so I will be doing follow-up uh, video on the let pot system, letting you know how all of these lettuces and onions are doing in this system. So I will also be downloading the let pot app and connecting through Wi-Fi and let you know how that system works on the next update video. And if this system can actually manage 12 plants growing in here at one time, um, it, I can see that it might use up a lot of nutrient water and uh, be a bit of a challenge but who knows maybe it will work out well i hope it does so please uh hit that like button leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on the updates on the let pot and other future videos coming to my channel thank you for watching